welcome to today's discussion we are looking at form 2 chemistry balancing of chemical equations in this discussion we are going to try and explain how to write chemical equations and the best way to do the balancing of such equations for us to successfully write correct chemical equations it is always important to understand form 2 work under the periodic table, especially on the valences. We are going to begin our discussion by number one, considering the reaction between, for example, aluminium, metal, remember metals are solids at room temperature, plus, for example, oxygen gas. Aluminium plus oxygen will give us aluminium oxide. But remember, aluminium has a valency of 3. It takes it to oxygen. And oxygen having a valence of 2, it goes to aluminium, giving us aluminium oxide. Remember, metal oxides are solids at room temperature. Having written our correct chemical equation, we now need to do the balancing. Remember we have the reactant side and the product side and always we have to balance the reactants and the products. We begin by looking at oxygens. On the reactant side we have two oxygens but on the product side we have three and therefore the first thing we do whenever we have an odd number we try to make it even. Let me multiply this by 2 here so that uh, we have 3 times 2, that is 6 oxygens. We have 2 on the reactant side and therefore we write 3 here. We will be having 6 oxygens. Then of course we now consider aluminium. We have 2 times 2 which is 4. Here we have one and therefore to balance aluminium we write four behind aluminium and our equation is now balanced. Number two, let me consider the reaction between for example magnesium. Magnesium is a metal and therefore metals are solids at room temperature. Let me react it for example with a sulfuric 6 acid. Those are the two reactants. Magnesium will come and take sulfate so that we have magnesium sulfate, which is aqueous. Remember, magnesium sulfate is soluble, so we use aqueous. The valency of magnesium is 2, and that of the sulfate ion is 2, and therefore, that is the correct formula of magnesium sulfate then magnesium having taken the sulfate ion we remain with hydrogen gas remember the reaction between metals and acids will always produce a salt and hydrogen gas we can now balance this equation let us look at the number of magnesium on the reactant side we have one and on the product side we have also one let us consider hydrogens. On the reactant side, we have two hydrogens. On the product side, we have two. Oxygens, we have four. Four, and therefore the equation is automatically balanced. Let us look at example number three. We can consider the reaction between ethene gas, that is C2H4, this is a hydrocarbon, a compound of carbon and hydrogen reacting with oxygen gas. Remember when you react or when you burn a hydrocarbon in air, it will always give us two products. That is we have carbon for oxide and water. Remember water is a liquid and therefore we use L. Let us try to balance this equation. And for us to balance this equation, 
we are going to consider the elements on the reactant side and those of the product side. In this case, we have a, a 2 plus 1, we have 3 oxygens here. On uh, the reactant side, we have 2, and therefore always I begin with where we have an odd one. We have one oxygen here to make them even, we multiply by 2, such that we have 2 oxygens plus 2 we have we have a uh, 4 looking at the number of carbon atoms here carbon atoms we have 2 here we have 1 and therefore to balance carbons we write 2 behind carbon 4 oxide by writing 2 behind carbon 4 oxide oxygen have now shifted from 2 to 4 so 2 times 2 you get 4 4 plus 2 you get 6 and for us to balance oxygens we write 3 behind oxygen gas let us look at uh, the number of hydrogens we have four hydrogens on the reactant side we have also four on the product side carbons are two carbons are two we have oxygens are six oxygen as oxygens are six and therefore that equation is now balanced let us go to another example let me consider example number four and in this case let me react a base and an acid for example sodium hydroxide solution reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid Sodium will come and combine with chlorine so that we get sodium chloride, which is a common salt. Remember the reaction between a base and an acid will give us salt and water, meaning after sodium has combined with chlorine, we remain with hydrogen and hydroxide ions, which combine to give us water. We know from our Form 1 knowledge, that the reaction between a base and an acid will give us salt and water and this kind of reaction is known as neutralization let us try to balance we have one oxygen on the reactant side we also have one on the product side hydrogens we have two on the product side we have one two on the reactant side what else we have chlorine on the reactant side we have one chlorine on the product so this equation is automatically balanced and therefore now we can move to number five let me try to react for example sodium hydroxide solution with a uh, for example sulfuric six acid Sodium will come and take the sulfate so that we have sodium sulfate. But remember the sulfate ion has two has a valency of two, which it gives to sodium. Sodium has only one and therefore it doesn't affect the sulfate. So the correct formula of sodium sulfate is Na2SO4. Then of course plus the hydroxide ion and the hydrogens will always form water remember this is also the reaction between a base and an acid to give us salt and water such reactions are known as neutralization reactions now we can go ahead and do the balancing for us to do the balancing of this equation we are going to check on each element remember we have a uh, one sodium on the reactant side we have two on the product side and therefore to balance sodiums we write two behind sodium hydroxide then we move on we have one times two we have two hydrogens plus two those are four 
on the product side we have two so we write two behind water to make hydrogens for next we have a uh, we have uh, to check on the oxygens we have one times two those are two plus four six then these are uh, two plus four those are six and this equation is now automatically balanced we can now look at uh, another example let us have another example let me take a base for example calcium hydroxide aqueous remember calcium has a valency of two that it gives to hydroxide ion we are going to react it with an acid like a nitric 5 acid Calcium will take the nitrate so that we have calcium nitrate. But remember, calcium has a valency of 2, which it gives to the nitrate to give us calcium nitrate. This is a soluble salt, and therefore we use aqueous. The hydroxide and the hydrogen will give us water. Remember, water is a liquid. From there now we can do the balancing. We can do the balancing. And the way we are going to go about it, let us look at uh, the hydrogens. We have one here, so I want to make it even fast by writing two behind nitric acid, such that we have two hydrogens plus two giving us four. We write two behind water to make the hydrogens for let us consider now the oxygens we have three times two which is six plus two those are eight then of course one times two need two then these are six making them eight and if you look at this equation it is now balanced thank you for watching and welcome to this discussion and in case you are watching this channel for the first time kindly take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification